Welcome to another Gran Turismo Sport Tutorial. Today we're featuring shifter carts at Brands Hatch Indy, which I have featured before, but back when I did original video in like January or something, I was at a 47.7. Now I'm at a 47.3, and I have a new phone, so it should look better as well, so all around this video should overall be better. So to get right into it, the most important parts of Carding in this game is still the same as the last time, just I was able to execute it better. And the main parts being to go with stability. Stability is the main big key here, and then there's different aspects to go with it. To begin with, no matter what settings you end up using with the cart, the way to drive the cart is as little steering motion as possible to still be able to make the turn without hitting anything or going off track. And with carts, going off track include, includes raised rumble strips. Like as you all can see here, I'm as close to that raised rumble strip as possible without hitting it. Never hit raised rumble strips in carts. I'll get more into specific specifics as I go through the lap, but just in general, don't hit raised rumble strips. And more with stability with carts. This may be a bit more controversial, but overall it does work for me, and the lap that I got here was good enough for top 10 in the world when I ran it, and it was pretty much at the very end of the event when I ran it, so therefore I stayed in the top 10. I think it was like 6th or 7th or something when it ended. I'm using tracks to control on 5. I know that sounds weird, and it definitely shouldn't work. It is broken, but as I've said really since GT5, I'm definitely for changing stuff to make it realistic, but until they do change it, use what they offer to be as fast as possible. Back in GT5, that was Skid Recovery Force. I wanted it to be banned, but in races where it wasn't, I still used it, because it made me go faster. Same with this. Every other car in the game, traction control makes you go slower, especially on 5. Not with carts. And that goes with the counter steering assist as well. That's not as major of an issue. I think more people are using that now than ain't just because that's been proven to be faster. But tracks and control five, counter steering strong. I know it kind of sounds babyish, I guess. I don't really know how to word that nicely because realistically this didn't happen, but whatever. Okay, now getting into the actual lap. Also, I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but there's construction in the background. Which actually involves going underground to do like sewer systems, so that also is messing with my allergies, but there's not much I can do with that. Hopefully this sounds as good as possible. I have like the windows closed and all that, so that's... I've done the max of my abilities to make it better. But anyway, moving to the actual lap now. I put all that more in the intro than the usual intro, just because that's important no matter where you are with cart Stability more than anything, which means tracks control and... All that as well, counter steering, track, traction control, yeah, whatever. It's broken, but, well, this ain't. The strategy in which to drive the carts, I think, is pretty realistic still. As y'all can see there, it's closer to the rumble strip as possible at hitting it for going into your fastest lap and on your fastest lap. But honestly, I figured out going into your fastest lap, as long as you're over 70 out of that turn, you're good. Carts have a max speed of 106. And if you're 70 or over, exiting the final turn, you're going 106 at the line. So you're already at your max speed, even if you don't do absolutely perfect out of that turn. Like as y'all can see here, I mean, that's literally like round six, pretty much right as the lap starts, and that's the max you can go, so... You literally gain maybe three or four milliseconds running a bit faster out of that last turn into your best lap, but it's basically nothing because the carts are already topped out. But anyway, for the first turn, it's full throttle, believe it or not. I know that sounds kind of crazy for how crazy carts drive, but it's full throttle. You will slide, though. This turn is probably the scariest on the whole track. There's nothing you can really do. You will slide, which loses you speed, but you have to maintain full throttle to lose as least speed as possible. No matter what type of throttle you have, even if it's none at all, you're still gonna slide, so you may as well be full throttle. 
And the general line is out, in, out. But you want to stay near the apex for a little while. Because if you go too out too early, you're going to go into the sand there. So you want to do just barely enough steering motion to stay on the apex enough to where when you're back out, you don't go in the sand. Which means, again, you're going to slide a bit. And that actually dropped me to under 100. And believe it or not, even though that lap was good enough for top 10 in the world, I could still do that turn better. Which means if you have a steering wheel, you could probably get almost maybe a tenth more. The max amount of speed I've been able to carry out of that turn is about 102. It's not that big of a deal because this isn't that long of a straightaway, but still, there's probably, for me, about half a tenth left. If you have a steering wheel, maybe there's about one tenth left. The rest of the track, though, honestly, I did as perfect as I can. So, in theory, that means that my best would be about a .26-ish because this was a .31-ish. But anyway, braking zone... It's pretty much right after that shadow ends, and with carts, they have really good brakes because they're really small vehicles. So you can brake while you're turning, that's no big deal. The brakes don't lock up whatsoever, they do exactly what you figure. The cart itself doesn't, like turning and accelerating, not really, but its brakes are fine. But anyway, as for speed, be roughly 60. If you're at 60 again, you kind of slide no matter what. Less sliding here because it's lower speed than the first turn, but there still is a bit of sliding. Pretty much if you enter at 60, you stay pretty much at the apex about 58, and then at this point you're full throttle, and that's pretty much it for that turn. It's full throttle. You can get on this lowered rumble strip, though. That way you can gradually turn, and oh, there's a cotton picking power tool outside. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. Hopefully not. But anyway, you can turn onto this raised rumble strip though, so that way you can gradually turn out more and carry more speed overall. That will overall help, but it is slightly more dangerous because you pretty much want to have all of your cart on the lowered rumble strip, but you don't want to be in that grass. So as y'all saw, I kind of towed the line of, I probably had all four wheels on it, but just barely, so that way as little steering motion as possible. It still take a wide enough line where I can carry speed, because if you have two tires on that, two tires off that, there's that much more of a chance of the car getting loose, and you just don't want to get on the grass in general, because that will slow you down as well. Continuing on, this little, I don't even know if that's considered a turn, it's no big deal, it's full throttle. This turn, though, is still full throttle. This turn gained me the most time in the track. This is by far the best I've ever taken this turn. At my usual max, I'm exit about 85. Well, here's this, folks. As gradual steering motion as possible, get right on that apex without hitting it, and then get all the way to this lowered rumble strip to get all the way on it, but... Not quite hit the grass. If you do that absolutely perfect, you can actually be 87, 88 off it. And then look at the ghost behind. I was probably a full cart length back going into that low speed turn. And then by the time I exit this fairly high speed turn, I'm about a cart length ahead. I don't think I can do that turn that good twice, honestly. It, I can do it full throttle pretty consistently, but the map the cart slide generally exit about 85, not 87, 88. How I did it exactly, I, I mean, it seems like I'm doing the same thing every time, but in that particular instance, I carried a whole heck of a heap more speed than I usually do, so I'll take what I got, because what I got was better than I think I could get again. But anyway, here's a little bit of time to catch your breath. There's not that big of challenge here just don't hit the rumble strips but do get as close to them as possible again not much steering motion preferably all steering motion in one sweep or whatever like if when you start turning left just turn left in one motion without having to do whatever you're using controller or steering wheel and like jagged motion try to do it one fluid motion but not that big of a deal again because it's just a small section and it's full throttle if you can, do it. If you can't, whatever. That's probably, like, not even a hundred for the second game there, but it would help. 
Anyway, for this turn, this is back to the more important part. You want to start breaking a little bit before you're halfway through between that last full throttle turn and this turn coming up. And you want to trail brake in a cart. I mean, here's how I'm doing braking and throttle. Mostly, I'm coasting, but there was a little bit of braking at the beginning. And that got my speed to roughly 73. But I am back on the throttle here. But just from steering angle plus a bit of sliding that's unavoidable, I dropped down again even though I am full throttle. So it's roughly 73, 74 is the max amount of speed you can carry here. And again, do not hit that raised normal strip. And then when you exit this turn, your lap's pretty much over. Again, as little steering motion as possible to still be able to make it out of the turn. But this is where it's kind of up in the air for you. If you got your cart stable off there, which you pretty much need to to get as good of a time as possible, really you can do a bit more steering motion and not have it slide enough to truly slow you down. And if you do that, you already got yourself close to this side of the track, which you want to actually be on your best lap so it's the least distance traveled possible. That will probably gain you a bit more time again. But again, the cart doesn't have that much top end, so it's probably not that big of a deal, but it will still help a little bit. There's a lot of areas in this track in which you don't gain too much time, but because there's a lot of those areas, it will add up overall. Like even just that turn that I saw that I said that I took better than I ever did, I can always take it full throttle. But that time, I literally gained like two cart lengths. Carts are obviously the smallest vehicle in the game, but still, it was a noticeable amount that I gained. There's a lot of that on this track. Meaning, I can say as much as I can and try to make it as informative as possible, but really it's up to y'all just to practice and get it as smooth as possible. Little steering motion as possible to stupid to make the turn. Don't hit the raised rumble strips. Carry momentum by smoothness and then track control 5 counter steering strong that's really all i can say now it's up to y'all anyway this was my lap my lap is honestly good again i think i can get a very very little bit through that first turn but i've never gotten that good through that that left hander that's roughly 90 miles an hour going into the 87 88 out if you do it perfect I don't think I could do that turn that good twice because literally the fastest speed I've ever carried out of it was 85 till that time and I got like 87 and pretty much almost immediately 88. Anyway, here's my split times. 137 through the first section. My best overall through that first section is probably about a 100 even. I think it's like a 101 I think. Can't remember for sure because this was a little while ago but a little bit better there maybe but these sections are pretty much my max seven by five and for 26 and i only did one lap there so that does equal the 318 so i hope you all enjoyed this learned something from it hopefully y'all could hear it my allergies ate the best and the construction's kind of loud but i said that i was going to record this today and today's when the event is out so this will be up at some point today depending on how slow my internet is it's slow. It always is. Maybe slower today because construction, but it will be there. So if y'all are watching at this point, I salute you. You're watching at any point to get the information out. And I hope it does indeed to any benefit, y'all. And as always, yee-haw. <laughs>